Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Henry Neal, and I'm here in the Nike.com and GG the NG Studios. Um, we're having a partnership. This video is actually sponsored by Nike.com and GG.ng, and we're all having a partnership to bring you smartphone awards for Nigeria 2018. Okay, I'm just kidding, scratch that. Um, we're actually here to review two devices which will be given away to you, our viewers, by the end of February. So if you would like to know how to enter for this giveaway, stay tuned to the end of this video. Alongside the giveaway, we'll also be giving the winners of this phone a month's worth of airtime. So that's even much more than you expected. Um, so if you would like to know how to get into win these devices, stay tuned to the end of this video. And without much ado, let's get started. So these are the devices we are looking at today and um, you may want to ask why did we pick these devices? We felt like they were um, two of the devices that we have most talked about last year and a lot of people made hypes about them and they have really great build to them and they have really um, affordable price ranges um, on them. So um, these are the devices we'll be looking at. So going forward, I'll be doing a software review. So we'll be going into reviewing the Gioni A1 Lite, which is a pretty decent device as well. Um, personally, I kind of prefer the Gioni A1 Lite because of its compact look and it's really handy um, when you hold it. So if you've got small hands, this is probably the better device for you. But if you've got big hands and you like multimedia, you like to watch movies on your device, the um, Infinix 05 would work probably better for you. Um, one of the downsides I straight up don't like about the Gioni phone here is the fact that it's got a 720p screen only. But that aside, it's an excellent device. It's got really good, um, um, it's got really good specs as well. On the back, on the back you've got a 20, you've got a 13 megapixel rear camera and on the front you've got a 20 megapixel selfie camera which is really interesting i would love to test that out to see how the cameras um, work but software wise i mean it's fluid i don't i don't see any lag there i mean everything runs really fine as in you can switch through your app drawer really just fine and i think that's really innovative um, in, journey has done a really good job here in cleaning up um, your software here um, let's take a look at the settings hub and see how um, or what they've done in there so quickly looking at the about section um, we can see that this phone also runs Android Nougat 7.0 which is on the same platform as you have on the Infinix 05 and for the specs we're just going to quickly run them down again it's a 5.3 inch HD display and it comes with 20 megapixel selfie camera and a 13 megapixel rear camera um, it's got 3 gigabytes of RAM and it's got 32 gigabytes of ROM in here which is quite enough for you to do whatever you'd like to do on the phone. Um, it runs on an octa-core processor which runs at um, 1.3 gigahertz and it's got um, a dual SIM system for um, dual nano SIMs or you could use one nano SIM and one uh, micro SD card in the slot there. Um, it's got a 4000 mAh battery built in for really long use meaning that this will take you um, up to a day of moderate to heavy use and you still be left with some juice by the end of the day. Um, it supports GSM, it supports WCDMA which is your 3G network and it also supports your 4G LTE um, networks. Alright guys, so we're taking a look at the Infinix 05 which is Infinix's um, last flagship from 2017 and they launched this device in Dubai and they made a lot of noise about the selfie capabilities in this device which I think is really nice because I tried it out some time ago and 
he took really nice pictures but let's run through the software here so I'm going to quickly unlock this device with the fingerprint scanner behind here and as you can see that is really very fast I'm going to try it again one two three go you can see that it's very fast turn on the screen one more time one two three and go see how fast it is and um, it's a really good great fingerprint scanner and um, let's run through the software here I'm um, going into settings we have um, we have Android 7.0 running on this device yeah which is nougat which is the same as you have running on the Gioni A1 Lite I really hope that um, Infinix will upgrade this to the Oreo um, um, software and that would be really handy and nice to see as a lot of people tend to complain that these homes don't get updated a lot but I'm hoping that Infinix does that so let's quickly run down some of the specs on this device it runs an 8 core CPU that runs up to 2.6 gigahertz um, um, speeds um, it's a MTK CPU that's MediaTek um, it's got a 4350 mAh power battery internally We've got a dual camera system, 12 megapixel and 30 megapixel at the back of the device and we've got a 16 megapixel selfie camera in the front of the device. It's a 1080p which comes at 5.9 um, inches and you've got 64 gigabytes of internal storage on this device which is more than enough for those of you who like to consume media on your smartphone devices. Um, the screen is really bright, the colors are excellent, I kind of like this but I'm not a fan of the Infinix um, XOS system in here. Um, for the battery in here you've got 4350 mAh which is um, chargeable from 0 to 100% in just about an hour 30 minutes and that's because it's got this thing called the X charge on it which is Infinix proprietary charging um, technology. And that they put in this and that's quite good when you have large batteries like this and being that we live in Nigeria power is not always very constant so you need a constant source of supply or a power supply that can charge your battery from 0 to 100 in a really very short time so playing games on the Gioni A1 Lite is really cool as um, you have to load games that are not too graphic intensive um, games like what I'm playing right now, Overdrive, is a joy to play on the GNA A1 Lite. You would not have any problem playing um, a game like this. But if you were to load a game like um, the FIFA 18, which is heavy in graphics, um, you might find it very difficult to play such games without having um, lags or stutters. Um, so that's it. Just keep it simple because um, this phone runs on a MediaTek processor and you may not be able to have um, really good. Um, gaming if you were to load really heavy 3D intensive games on this device. Um, let's do a test on video. I'm going to quickly load a video on this device. Um, meanwhile, um, you can see the Night app in here and we've also got the GG app in here for quick um, um, purchase of stuff and quick um, articles you, you would like to read on them. Um, so let me just load YouTube right here and start up a video so you can see what videos look like on the Gioni A1 Lite. So I'm going to pick um, I'm going to pick a random um, video here. So let's let's do um, Infinity. War. Let me put something else. Now. Let me do. Um, okay, so. so for videos, um, I'm just picking a video here. Remember, the screen is limited to 720p, so. You may not get very um, sharp images here. You're limited to 720p, but as you can see here, the videos are quite bright. The colors are vibrant, and um, I mean, it's not the best of the screens out there. But for those people who are on a budget, you would also like to watch videos on this. Um, Volume-wise, um, it sounds okay. So it sounds a little bit tiny, um, it doesn't have big to it, um, using the channel speaker, 
but um, I'm sure most of you won't be watching videos like this and in the UG. You'll be using your earpiece. So videos on this device is really good. Video on this device is really good. It looks clear, pictures are crisp and they look really nice. Um, I think the Journey A1 is okay when it comes to watching videos on it, but you're limited, as I said before, to 720p quality videos. So you can go more, um, above 720p here. Um, so we're going to be checking out the Infinix um, 05 as well right now. So gaming on the Infinix 05 um, seems to run really smooth and I think this is attributable to the 6 gigabytes of RAM that you can find in here and um, you've also got a, a pretty average uh, MediaTek processor in here. Um, as you can see the game I'm running right now is running really smoothly um, and it's a 3D game. Um, I'm sure there are some other 3D games that may not run this smooth um, depending on how heavy and how graphics intensive they are um, but as you can see in this game um, the Infinix Note 5 runs this pretty smooth and it has no lag or no stuttering or whatsoever. Um, so this device runs game really well. Um, let's move on to watching videos on the Infinix um, 05. I'm just going to start up the YouTube app here and we're going to look for a quick video. So I'm going to play a trailer from the Black Panther um, so you can see how well this 1080p um, screen does. And we're going to Raise up the volume. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? How is that? Let's go, go. So guys, the the Infinix 05 has a beautiful 1080p screen. So definitely, you're gonna put on watch. Um, you're gonna enjoy watching videos on this one. Colors are vibrant. Um, they're really sharp, and um, there's nothing that stops you from enjoying a video that you watch here. You've got a really huge screen, although you you definitely have those black bars on the top and the bottom, but that's acceptable. Um, but as you can see here pictures are bright, it looks really nice in here, um, volume sounds very okay, um, it's a bit tiny, it's a bit teeny when you get to the really loud um, end of it, but it really functions very well, I mean volume control here is fine and the volume, font, the volume sounds really very fine, so this is a great phone for consuming media in and I would I'll give this a thumbs up from me. Um, this is really nice. All right, so we're going to take a look at the camera on the um, Infinix 05. Um, it comes with a dual camera system um, behind 12 megapixel and 30 megapixel. So we're going to be using this camera system to test how well the camera on the Infinix 05 works. So I'm going to start up the camera here. And automatically we're taken into the interface here um, and we're on auto mode um, and straight off um, from what I can see already picture looks quite nice so I'm gonna have my my herd here migrating to somewhere else and I'm gonna take a quick picture here and we're gonna do a quick review of the picture what it looks like and picture is pretty nice I mean colors are sharp details are really nice I mean it's well detailed I can see every detail in the picture in here um, so let's try some other modes now being that this phone comes with the dual camera system behind um, we've also got the portrait mode on this meaning we can take um, pictures with shallow depths of field or what a lot of people would like to call bokeh effect and that's where if you take a picture the background is blurred so for us to get that effect I'm going to move this behind a bit and I'm going to use this as my primary subject and let's try and take a picture of our primary subject here and we're focused on the primary subject and I'm going to take that picture 
picture real fast. I'm gonna take one more with the rhino as the primary subject. Okay, so let's have a review of what the pictures look like. And besides you viewing it here on the phone, I'm also going to post the pictures on the video so you get to see what they look like. And straight up the bat, I mean, this is an absolutely beautiful picture. You have the focus strictly on the rhino, why the elephant is blurred out behind. That's what you call the bokeh effect. And that's why you have a dual camera system set up on the back of the um, this phone so overall I'll give the camera the rear camera on this phone an 8.5 out of 10 being that um, the bokeh effect is not very accurate if you can see clearly at the edge of the rhino there's some blurring the edge is not properly cut out there's some blurring on like what you have on the pixel phones but this nevertheless is still a great and awesome camera that you have in here for the selfie shots I took some shots um, previously for the selfie camera and I can tell you straight off the bat that this selfie camera is absolutely beautiful I mean it takes beautiful shots I and mean, it's really bright and um, it's really balanced and this is one of the things they sold out um, on this phone when they were launching the phone the selfie capabilities of this phone is really good so you wouldn't be um, you wouldn't be disappointed when you get this phone um, you wouldn't you wouldn't be disappointed with the selfie camera if you're one of those people who like to take pictures a lot and put it up on Instagram then this is probably um, the device for you so we're done with the Infinix 05 we're gonna quickly take a look at the Gioni A1 Lite now straight off the bat the Gioni A1 Lite comes with the 20 megapixel front facing camera that's a selfie camera 20 megapixel selfie camera which is a pretty high resolution but I would like to see how that performs against um, the spec sheet and we've also got a 60 megapixel camera behind here but um, we'll do a quick shot with the 60 megapixel camera here and um, see how it works function there I'm gonna take a quick one on auto mode take another quick photo let's see if we can focus on the background object and let me do a quick view of that so here we go um the Gioni A1 also takes decent pictures but um, the camera is probably not as good as what you have on the um, um, Infinix 05 but I'm not comparing anything here this is a different device this is a different phone in a different price point so we're going to be focusing on the camera quality here it takes decent picture for its price point it's not the best camera in the world but um, you can see here that there's some overx exposure on this picture and um, we have some blown out whites here and I try to focus on the background subject here just to see if the foreground subject will be blurred but as you can see the camera is not built to do that it tried a little but it's not um, that perfect um, I'll quickly take some selfie shots just to give you um, a quick look at how the selfie camera works I know we have a cameraman back there say hello so I'm going to take a quick shot here and that's one now this front facing camera is um, a 20 megapixel camera so I'm supposing that the picture quality should be quite good let's use some face beauty mode and let's take a quick picture Okay, so we'll do a quick review of the pictures we took. Um, so with the face beauty mode, you have some sort of smoothing, some sort of skin smoothing on the pictures. Um, but what I can tell you basically on this is that the pictures look nice. They are, 
they are quite good for a phone in this price range and if you would like to impress your friends with selfies um, this camera right here will work simply just fine and it's a really good camera from um, the Gioni team on the A1 Lite um, I like the pictures I took here they really make me look good as you can see from here I'm also gonna post these pictures on this page we're gonna leave links to these pictures in the description section below so you can click them download them and see how well they look on your computer screens as well so this is what the selfie camera on the Gioni A1 Lite is like so basically I'm going to give the Gioni um, camera the rear camera I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 and I'll give the selfie camera an 8 out of 10 and for this I would give the selfie camera an 8.5 out of 10 and the rear camera as well an 8.5 out of 10 so you have two really good smartphones here with really great camera um, settings or camera resolutions so thanks guys for watching this one it's been fun making this video and remember you stand a chance to win any one of these phones um, they are really nice phones to have and um, this is an opportunity for you not to spend money buying a brand new phone so for you to enter this competition is pretty easy all you have to do is subscribe to all three of these channels um, number one you have to subscribe to Nike.com's YouTube channel you have to subscribe to Gigi.com's YouTube channel and you have to subscribe to my channel that's Henry Neal and we'll leave all the links to our channels on the video here and also in the description section remember you have to subscribe to all three channels for you to have an opportunity to win this device and in addition to winning this device the winners of this device would also have um, an opportunity to win a month's worth of airtime. So you're not just winning your device alone. The device is coming with a month's worth of airtime. So this is a really good giveaway that you should really participate in. Um, so if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you would like to see how to enter this competition, we'll also leave it in the description section of this video. Thanks for watching this video and until next time, from us here, it's peace.